Hi, I'm Travis. I'm Erin. And we are our Live Late Tribe. No? I'm gonna make no reaction. <laughs> What are we doing? I don't know, it's hot, I can't think. How do you work in this heat? I have no idea. It is a I beautiful, just sweat. sunny, 106 degree day in Southern California. It's lovely. We usually have like a few weeks here and there of heat waves, but this has been nonstop July going into August of 100 degrees. Yeah, it's been pretty wild. It's been brutal. I think my body's getting accustomed to it. Yeah, your beard absorbs yeah, it keeps me cool. It's so I, I'm so insulated, just on the face. Weird. Um, <laughs> so if you saw our last video, we did a tour of the J flight and gave it to her family, and they are on the road. We are in Zion. In. Oh, I know oh, it's got to be hot there though. Right. Um, but they are in Zion. And Good thing we got that new AC on for them. Yeah, they got a new AC for it, so we had that installed right before they picked it up, and it should be cooling it down. But, um, we are in the Outback. Back in it. Again. And not Australia's <laughs> Outback. <laughs> but, um, shh. We are <laughs> in the Keystone Outback that is still for sale. And we are going to not leave until it's done. Yep. And we have plans. We are so excited. It is more than halfway done. The flooring is done. The paint is done. Those are two huge things. Now it's just the build. And That's he started stuff. building. We're starting from the back forward. And then the back is a master bedroom with a king. How's your arm? Feeling strong. Good. It had a king in it, which is really unusual for an RV. Well, the layout of it just was silly. You walked right into the bed when you walked into the room. So he had built the frame, tore down the frame. What? And then built a queen frame. So that's where we are right now with this rig. Yeah. So DM us if you're interested in an RV. This one is for sale. It's up on our website. I'll put a link below with all the info. Um, but we are going to move forward with this one until she's done. And when she's done, I'm so excited. She's going to be so pretty. I thought you said damn us. I didn't pick up on the DM us. <laughs> DM us? I was like, us? that's a weird thing to say to us. You don't do us. social media that well. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this beautiful piece is also in here. This is like the front entertainment piece that Travis built. All right, let's uh, go see what you're working on. This way. I'll zoom in on the tissue. Here she is. All her glory. I'm excited though. This room is freaking rad now. It, I was annoyed yeah. with it before. So how was it before? I was annoyed too because I walked in and... Yeah, the bed came all the way to here. <clears throat> yeah, the bed came to there. So when you walked so you in, you had to like curve around here and come around to the bed just to get into the bedroom. Yeah. Whereas now, it opened up a foot of space to and, completely walk in this bedroom. And what's weird, <laughs> sorry, they say king, but the dimensions on that were so funky that it wasn't really a full king. It was more or less, this is actually makes it a bigger bed lengthwise than what was in here. Yeah. Turning it this way, you know, stretched it out. So it's actually a better way better product so you won't sleep with your heads up against that wall you'll sleep with your heads up against that wall yeah, and then so below so will be a dresser just like we typically do so we literally turned a bed just turned it in a slide yeah which we've I'm never about it. we've never turned a bed in a slide we've never had a bed in a slide yeah cool yeah i'm pumped let's do this uh, so the bed frame is built out of one and a half by one and a half, uh, just regular pine. And um, I love using these things. They're, uh, they're durable. They hold up. They're a pain to find straight ones, but, uh, you know, take your time to find them. There it is. Thirty-six and thirteen sixteenths. Have fun with that number.
All right, now that I got the the main frame for the bed all framed out, I am gonna look at the uh, drawer system. So I'm gonna look at where to mount all the rails for the drawers and uh, then get like the, the drawers themselves built. And uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm uh, getting ready to measure everything out to build the face of what will be considered the dresser that will be built under the bed. Man, it took me a while to find that word. Um, so I'm gonna measure all that out right now and then go in the shop and get it built. So this is where the face will go. And I'm gonna do four really big drawers for this system. I just finished up building the four drawers for the uh, the bedroom and the uh, outback rig. Um, so I'll flip around and show you guys. Huge, man. Huge drawers. And uh, because these drawers are so large, I add a support under them. Um, you know, just enough. This one's going to be the upper drawer. So it will only have, you know, shirts and socks, underwear, things like that. Um, but in these larger drawers, I did add a couple supports um, just to ensure that they, you know, nothing goes wrong. They can take a lot of weight. Yeah, that's, uh, man, one of the worst parts of the rigs are, are the drawers they put in there. The systems are just, uh, they're just built so quickly and so cheap that they just fall apart. Um, as anyone who's been or lived or dealt with an RV uh, and knows. So, so drawers are super important to us and we really uh, put a huge effort to make sure that they're strong and durable. See ya. All right, so uh, this is how far I've gone on the bed this week. Got the whole bed frame built up, got all four drawers built and the bottom two are mounted. And uh, then I'm gonna put on the face. I got it painted and I'm gonna get it mounted so that I can put up the last two drawers. And uh, then I'll put the top on the bed and the bed will be finished at that point. We'll be freaking ready to move on. Sweet, so it was actually like only two days of work. Technically. Yeah. Yeah, this week was kind of weird because we had the funeral and... Yeah, it was kind of a weird week. Yeah. And then you built this and then you tore it down and then you built it again. Yeah. So, cool. second build was way faster than the first build. Right. <laughs> awesome. Good job. <laughs> All right, so Friday, we have an RV that we rent. It's the Evo. It's renovated. Her it's name's Eva. Eva the Evo. <laughs> She's beautiful. She is beautiful. So, we technically renovated her for us but we rent her out so that other families can enjoy her as well. So we're taking her down to Mission Beach today and we decided to make a day of it. So we loaded up the kayaks and paddle boards and we're meeting some family down there and we're just gonna play for the rest of the day. Hells yeah. Escape the heat. So Travis is gonna get her hooked up. I'm gonna hook up Eva. <laughs> this is just right in itself, people. But yeah. <laughs> Hook up uh, the trailer and let's hook her up. get out of here. It was a good week, though. It was a good week. Yeah. Despite having a funeral. Is that like... It was a really good funeral, though. Ugh. If you're going to go to a funeral, you want it to be a good one. You want to be inspired, I guess, by someone's life. I was, man. But Love you, Tony. <laughs> okay. All right. Peace out.
face plate? Face paint? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Dude, look how red my beard looks in this light. Your beard is red. No, it's not. It's not a red beard. Dresser? There we go. There. Okay. <gasps> it's a kitten! Is that a kitten? It looks like a kitten. I've never seen that before. <laughs> it looks like your beard is sweating. It's glistening that much? No, if you lift it up, your whole shirt has like a beard sweat line. Really? Except it's like chest sweat, but it looks like beard sweat. That is weird. Okay. Back again. Before we were really interrupted by an adorable kitten. It was really cute. I've never seen that kitten before. Okay. But we don't need one. Okay.